once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath. And there's hope for everyone who believes. If you want to have eternal life, you want to have, if you want to live forever with God, you have to be obedient to God. You have to turn away from sin. You have to turn away from drunkenness. You have to turn away from, from lying and cheating. You have to turn away from all transsexualism. You have to turn from witchcraft, from tarot reading, tarot cards, Ouija boards. You have to turn from horoscope, palm reading, all spirit mediums, and all new age spirituality. You have to turn from all of those sins. Repent and turn to Jesus Christ. You have to turn from atheism. Repent of your sins. Return to God and turn to Him and He will turn to you. The Bible said to turn to God, trust in Him with all your heart. Do you know Jesus? I do indeed. And my friends from Nigeria, and they invited me to their church. Okay. Yeah. All right. I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah, it's quite the production. Hmm? And Tommy Europe, he is like, yes. Anyways, what you're doing, sublime. Thank you. Yeah. Well, God bless you. God bless you too, anybody. All right. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Go in peace. Okay. Right. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through Him. Turn away from spirituality, from New Age. New Age spirituality that leads you away from God, that only leads you to drugs and hallucinations and uh, witchcraft and all of those things. Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth and the life. Do not continue to follow Satan in his ways. Satan corrupts your mind with uh, New Age spirituality. He corrupts your mind with all these things and he tells you, don't believe in the Bible, it's just a book. Come over here and take a hit of this weed. It will take you to the next level. God said, repent, turn from your sins and turn to his son, Jesus Christ. And there is the power. There is the power of God Turn away from the devil and from worshiping the devil, following philosophies of man, of spirituality, of new age, which is nothing but which is nothing but atheism and all kinds of immorality. Jesus Christ is away. Are you saved? Are you are you are you sober? I talk to sober people, I don't talk to drunks. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, turn away from transsexuality, turn away from homosexuality, turn away from transgenderism or drunkenness or friends with benefits, turn away from adulteries. New Age is adult adultery. It's idolatry. Turn away from witchcraft, from Ouija boards. It's wrong, ma'am. Yes. Why why are you sexual Homosexuality hurt each other. They, they, they hurt each other, man. There's no love. There is no love. If you don't want to talk to me, if you want to talk to me, you can come and talk to me. I, I'm not, I don't bite. You can, if you want to talk to me, you can talk to me. You have a first to face. I'm not, a, I'm not afraid of any question or anything you have. If you're walking in transsexualism, turn, repent. 
That's, that's, that's all I'm here to tell you. If you're walking and if you're smoking weed, getting high and getting laid, stop. Turn away, run away from it. Because those sin can kill you, will kill you, and will cast you into the lake of fire. In the end, there's a day of judgment coming when all those that are sinful against God will be judged. If you're following Buddha, repent. Turn to Jesus Christ if you're following New Age spirituality, which is nothing but Buddhism and uh, Hare Krishna and all the Eastern religion mixed together. Those there is nothing new under the sun, my friends. New Age spirituality, New Age spirituality is a spiritual buffet. You go to the buffet, you take your plate and you take this one, you take Hare Krishna, you take Buddhism, you put it in your plate, you take Islam, you take all of these things and then you make it up, mix it up together and you have your own um, spiritual diet. That's what New Age spirituality is. It's a, it's a spiritual buffet. You have all of this other stuff, but you have nothing in the end. Your plate is empty. It won't fulfill you. Your stomach will not be filled. Your spirit will not be filled. Okay, okay, okay buddy. You start your own YouTube video right now. Right now. I already have one. Sorry. Let's go. Are you here to mock me, sir? Are you here to mock me? Why are you filming me if you mock? Why are you mocking me and telling me... Uh, I need to start a. I never said nothing. I just said, told you what's wrong with it. It's a confusion. No, it's a confusion, man. And when you confuse, you go to hell if you confuse still. It's confused. Transsexualism is Satanism. Tell, tell, Satan telling you that God is. It's not. It's, yeah, it is. It is. It's a demonic possession. Exactly. It's, it's telling you that you are there's 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 that there's no such thing as a man and a woman. No, uh, I, I know there's a man and a woman. Uh, it, it, it's telling you that there is in between that there's those that, that there's wiggle room. No, no, it's God, telling you that. Well, well, that's what transsexualism is. Guess what? Transgenderism, transsexualism, transsexualism is all together, all LGBTQ, all the, all of them. But it, but it, but, but are you a woman? No, I'm a guy. I'm a, you're a guy. But God, the Bible said should, a man should not put on a, a cloth of a woman. It's an abomination before God. No, uh, that's not what it, says. it does. It does. It says if a man should lie next to a man. No, no, no. That's another one. <laughs> <laughs> that's another one. That's just that's just another one. That one is wrong too. What it says, a man who's put on a cloth of a woman is an abomination before God. Because you're confusing your children, you're confusing, you're telling God that he's 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 made he made a mistake. No. Yeah. No, I don't even think he made a mistake when it comes to my arm. My arm is not even fully grown, so I I don't think I don't think there's any mistakes. Well, I, I'm saying if you dress, if you cross dressing, it's a sin. Just repent, and God will forgive you. It's a sin for you to go around and make belittle people, making them. I'm like not belittling people. you. I'm just telling you the truth is not belittling. If, if I tell you that you're small, it's in the Bible. It doesn't mean that you, your, your perception of it. If, if I tell you that smoking will kill you, would that would that be would I be putting you down? Oh no, okay, see, you don't want to hear the truth. That's the problem with the world today. That's the problem with the world today. Would smoking kill you? Would smoking give you lung cancer? So if I tell you that smoking will give you lung cancer, that's demeaning you. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not in your right mind, ma'am. Oh, not ma'am, sir. It's a sir that dressed like a woman. Which is not, which is not, nothing good. If you're a man who's dressing like a woman, God said, repent, change your ways. 
there's nothing wrong with changing your ways if, you, if your ways are wrong. It's only wrong when your ways are right and I'm telling you to change your ways. If you repent, God will forgive you. If you don't want to repent, you are prideful. That means you're prideful. You think you know better than God. And God will judge you for that. Because pride is one of the sin. The Bible says God give grace to, the, to, the, to, the, to, to those who humble themselves. But those who are proud, who are proud, He humiliates them. God humiliates the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. So if you're living in sin against God today, I'm here to tell you that there's hope of repentance, that you don't have to die in your sins. You don't have to die in your, in your homosexuality. You don't have to die in your drunkenness. You can repent. You can repent and you can have a beautiful life. A beautiful life that only God can give you. What is wrong with that? Telling you that you can have a beautiful, a beautiful life and rep by repenting of your sin and turning to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and repenting of your friends with benefits and all your drinking, getting drunk and getting laid and, and passing out. What's, what's so great about passing out, uh, getting drunk and passing out? What's, what's so great about that? Repent of your sin, turn away from it, turn to the Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and you will have eternal life. And you will pass from death to life. You will pass from death to life. Because the Spirit of God will dwell upon you, and you will have life and have it in full. But God saves those who are crushed in spirit and those who are humble and he resists the proud and arrogant but he gives grace to you if you repent of your sin today and come to him he can wash you clean he can give you eternal life he can give you hope the hope that will not be disappointing the hope that will lead you to everlasting life the everlasting hope that is only found in Jesus Christ, His Son. He is the Son of God so that God is not angry with you, that you will not perish in your ways. Turn to Him, repent of your sin. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through Him. There is no name under heaven given to mankind by which they can be saved except the name of Jesus Christ. You see, God did not give the name of Muhammad. He didn't give the name of Baha'i. He didn't give the name of Buddha. He didn't give the name of, Hadi, uh, a name of Krishna or any other name. Or Guru Nanak. He didn't even give any name. He only gave one name. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. He is His Son. Jesus Christ is the Son. He didn't give the name of Satan. If you worship Satan, you're going to be his roommate in the lake of fire. And there, and there will be no rock and roll in the lake of fire, my friends. Um, uh, Je yes, Led Zeppelin won't be, won't, be, won't be playing you rock and roll in the lake of fire. And the devil will not have time to do any of that for you. Because he is suffering himself. So turn away from... Turn away from... Aliens are demons. There's, I didn't say there's no... No, whatever. Okay, go believe in your aliens. That's fine. If, if they're so alien coming from outer space, why, would they, why are they interested in your genitalia? Why would they, why would they be interested in your genitalia if they're, if they're sophisticated and out of space? Why is it that when aliens come into your, why is it that when you have an alien visitation and, and when someone come there and pray in Jesus' name, they don't show up again? Since you think you know alien, I think I know aliens more than you do. 
They are demons. That's why when you come there and pray in Jesus' name, they don't show up anymore. Get it? That's demonic forces. Yes, you're not alone in the universe. Of course you're not alone in the universe. There are demonic forces available looking to make contacts. But you are so blind in North America here, you don't know demonic powers. So because of that, you make up a word, alien, yeah. The people you call aliens are not even aliens. The only way they can be aliens is if they've never been here. But Jesus Christ can give you life, because Jesus said, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. See, see, the reason why you believe in all of those things is because you don't know the truth. That's why you believe in aliens. You, you actually believe that they came from outer space and flying in a saucer. Uh, they, they, they're driving their spaceship over here because you don't know the truth. If you know the truth, the truth to set you free, you won't believe in those fairy tales of aliens anymore. You will know the truth that Jesus Christ is the only way that aliens, those you call aliens, are just are demons. They're Satan. They're Satan's. Turn to Jesus Christ. Repent of your sin. Turn to God in righteousness that you may have life and have it in abundance that you may be saved. Hallelujah. Can I share this with you about Jesus Christ? And may I share this Jesus with you? Thank you. You don't need ambulance for this. Ma'am, may I share this with you? About Jesus Christ? Yeah. Thank you. I share Jesus love with you. Thank you. May I share Jesus' love with you today? May I share Jesus and his love with you? May I share Jesus' love with you? God's love? May I share God's love with you? Thank you. I share God's love with you, the love of God through Jesus Christ. I share the love of God with you too.